Hey there folks, it's Michael Lafito from the Michael Lafito Home Selling Team at ERA Team Feinstein. This video we're going to be talking to you about the benefits of being proactive versus reactive. The benefits of being proactive versus reactive. Aggressive versus non-aggressive. So if you're a buyer, the, the benefits of being proactive versus reactive if you're out looking at homes is to be pre-approved. Sellers don't look at you as being a serious buyer if you're not pre-approved. Okay, do your due diligence ahead of time before making an offer. Okay, that's being proactive versus reactive. But this video is geared more towards someone that owns a home and is thinking of selling the benefits of being proactive versus reactive. You'll see this quote come across the screen now. Most individuals are reactive rather rather than proactive about their financial plans. I'm talking to you about today being proactive versus reactive. Again, when you're marketing your home, the number one thing you want to do is make your home stand out from the competition and be rememberable. Well, one of the systems that I developed, I call it the Carfax for the housing industry, is the Verified House Program. I, I was not always the smartest guy in college, but I used to study in, this, in, in a group of the smartest people, and I learned from them. And one of the things that I developed is the Verified House program. You can check it out at VerifiedHouse.com, VerifiedHouse.com. But a Verified House is, is being proactive versus reactive when selling a home. A Verified House has had the following things done before putting the house on the market a pre-home inspection. The number one reason that deals fall apart is home inspection issues. So as a seller, wouldn't you rather know ahead of time what you're getting yourself into? Any surprises so that you can be proactive and have a handyman fix those issues before putting the house on the market? So again, pro uh, being proactive by getting a pre-home inspection. That's the number one reason deals fall apart. The second reason deals fall apart is appraisal issues. 26% of homes that are being that are under contract are appraising under the contract price. So as a seller, if that happens, either A, you gotta lower your price, B, the buyer's got to bring more money out of pocket, or C, you guys gotta renegotiate. But again, in this economy, you want to be aggressive and proactive versus reactive. The third thing the verified house program offers is a home warranty. As a buyer, Buyers like when there's home warranties in case something goes wrong in the first year of a home. So as you as a seller, it also alleviates any liability. So home warranties only cost around 425 to 450 bucks. And then a preliminary title report with so many short sales and pre-foreclosures and horror stories out there by offering a preliminary title report to buyers ahead of time or their agents ahead of time, you are differentiating yourself from 99% of your competition. So that is the difference of being proactive versus reactive. Again, ahead of time, pre-home inspection, okay, home warranty, appraisal, and title report. As a buyer, being proactive is getting the uh, pre-approval ahead of time. And the last thing I want to let you know is if you are thinking of selling, we will offer you what, we, what I call my no BS fresh eyes analysis. We will come out, take a look at your home, give you some staging advice, and give you an idea of what your home is worth. You can also go to whatismyhomevaluetoday.com, whatismyhomevaluetoday.com. And uh, again, you can go to our, our blog at uh, www.suburbanrealestate.tv.com and uh, type in any questions at any time. Again, Michael Lafito, again, my contact information is below. We'll talk to you soon. Take care.